I'm going to start the getting started with Oracle Visual Builder by creating a new application and working with business objects that store data. We're going to start by creating a new application. We'll provide a name um, and we can choose a template. We're going to keep the empty application template to just create an application from scratch. When you go into Visual Builder, you can create a responsive web app. You can work with REST services, business object, processes, and components. We're going to start by working on business object. You can create a business object by pressing the plus button and providing a name for your object. We're going to create a department object. We can then define fields. For example, we can have a department name which would be a text item. We can add, for example, another field, which would be the max salary in this department, which can be a numeric component. There's a bunch of fields that are created by default, such as ID and fields that track the last updates and who created uh, the record. Now that we have this in place, we can go into the data tab and we can start to add data. For example, we'll create the marketing department with a max salary of one, two, three, four. And we can create another department, for example, sales with a bigger salary. When we create this data, it is stored inside an Oracle database in the cloud. So this is one way to create business object. Another way is to start by using the data manager. The data manager allows you to import and create business object from Excel or CSV files. In our example, we have a spreadsheet that we can pick up over here and click to upload. Visual Builder analyzes the structure and notices there are two data sheets in the spreadsheet and it's going to create two tables and business object to map to them. Over here, we can see the specifics of each field for each one of the tables, and we can modify things. For example, if we wanted to, we can modify the type of a field. We're going to keep the default and click Finish. This creates the business objects and load the data from Excel into the business object. So here's the business object. Here are the fields, and if we look at the data, we can see the data that was brought from the Excel spreadsheet into the Oracle database. We can now modify those business objects. For example, again, we can add another field. We can indicate whether an employee is a manager using a Boolean field, for example. We can also create relationships between tables. For example, if each employee can belong to a department, we can create a reference field from the employee to the department. And host the name of the department over here. Okay, so now we have a department object and department field in the employee. Similarly, by the way, you can go back to the department object and once you have a relationship, you can create calculated fields. For example, let's create an uh, aggregation field, which would be the employee count. Okay, this can use, for example, a count operation to go over the employee in the specific department, like that. There are other types of fields that you can create. You can also create a formula field, which would have some formula behind it. For each field, you can specify things like the default value and whether the field is required, searchable, etc. Once a business object is created, we automatically create a set of REST endpoint that allow you to access the business object, okay? Both from inside the app and outside the app. You can also add additional business rules and security aspect for business object, but we'll skip it in our current application and we'll move to the next step. In the next step, we're going back into the welcome page and we're going to create a responsive application.